The ongoing coronavirus vaccine row between the European Union and the UK has reached boiling point after a senior diplomat launched an attack on Britain's vaccine rollout. The EU has been widely criticised for its glacial rollout as just 11.3% of people over the age of 18 have received their first dose of a vaccine. Only 4.9% of people have received both jabs of a vaccine. In comparison, more than 30 million people in the UK have already been vaccinated. But now, a senior EU diplomat has attacked Britain's successful vaccine rollout claiming the country will feel very small as neighbouring countries are still not vaccinated. They said, you might feel very happy on your little island when you are all vaccinated, but your island might feel very small when you cannot leave it because your neighbours are not vaccinated. Neil Richmond, an Irish government backbencher, warned the bloc that Brexit Britain has created a framework for other countries to leave the EU. He told CNN, the perception that the UK is rolling out so fast while the EU is stumbling from crisis to crisis is very unhelpful. While no one believes a member state is going to leave over the EU's handling of the pandemic or that it will fall apart, the post-Brexit reality is that all crises are automatically linked to the fact the UK has created a framework for leaving. While Moitaba Rahman, Managing Director for Europe at the Eurasia Group, said the EU's slow rollout is part of the Commission's failures on health policy. She said, Europe's pandemic can be viewed through the Commission's failures on health policy and its successes on economic policy. My sense is that it will be hard for the Commission to say that its failures on health mean it should have more control of Europe's health policy. However, if the COVID recovery fund results in serious reform, that could be a catalyst for more European integration. Over the weekend, European Commissioner Thierry Breton warned all AstraZeneca vaccine vials produced in the bloc will not leave the EU until all member states have caught up with their inoculations. Mr. Breton swiped at the UK and claimed Britons are incapable of keeping up with vaccinations without the help of the EU.